Hello and welcome to High School Football on WOSN. Alongside Dar Nevergal, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight it's a big time showdown between a pair of 2-0 teams. It's Arlington hosting Liberty Benton. And Dar, I'm so excited to be with you tonight. Two really great teams. Uh, we're in for a good one. Oh, we certainly are, and two contrasting teams as well. You're looking at an Arlington team so far, 424 yards rushing in two games. You're looking at a Liberty Benton team, 502 yards rushing, or 502 yards passing in two games. So totally opposite teams. So it should be a really interesting one. Liberty Benton 2-0 and after knocking off Lipsick and Columbus Grove 8-3 and a year ago, 5-1 and in the Blanchard Valley Conference. Dar, what are the keys to victory for the Eagles? Well, you're looking at the Eagles. The first thing they got to do is they got to pressure the quarterback for Arlington. They got to get in that backfield and give him some heartache. And the second thing is they really need to uh, get off to a quick start on this Arlington team. Don't let them hang around because they'll, they'll make you miserable after a while. And the last thing is torch the secondary. And, you know, like I said, they've thrown for 502 yards, so this Cam... Garlock is a kid that can do it, so they're going to torch that, in that secondary for Arlington. Arlington 2-0 after wins against Paulding and Ada last year. Same record, 8-3, but 6-2 in the BBC. What about keys for them? Well, they want to win the time of possession. They want to keep Cam Garlock off the field. That's the biggest thing they can do is just have long, sustained drives and finish off with points at the end of it. The other thing is limit their yards after the catch. They want to make sure that Liberty Benton, they know he's going to throw, he, they know they're going to catch, stop him from getting big games after that point. And the last thing is match the physical play for this Liberty Benton team. They're a pretty good-sized team. You know, Arlington's got some pretty good-sized boys too, but, you know, they got to match that physical play all night long. Liberty Benton won the coin toss. They elected to receive, and they will do so when we return. It's High School Football on WOSN. Hello and welcome back to Arlington. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergal with you. And it'll be the Arlington Red Devils at 2-0, kicking off to the 2-0 Liberty Benton Eagles. And they do so with a little bouncer that'll be picked up at the 32-yard line. And a decent return up to around the 39. Like Caden like, Fultz. Yep, absolutely. And so it'll be the Eagles offense out first, led by quarterback Cam Garlock, 36 of 49 passing so far this year. That's 74% completed passes for 476 yards, four touchdowns, two interceptions. He's also run the ball 24 times for 62 yards, so certainly a threat. Oh, absolutely a threat, and he's got some receivers out there as well, you know, that can catch the ball and, and get yardage after the catch, and that's one of the big things that Barlington's got to stop. They can't let him get big gains on him. You know, so they got to get in the backfield. They got to put a little pressure on Garlic and uh, stick to those receivers like glue. And it'll be a little hot pass here as Lincoln Garlock will run the ball. And he's brought down in the backfield by a host of tacklers. Good start to the game for the Arlington defense. He credit to Lucas Pinstermaker. He was the first guy in there for Arlington, put the, some little leather on him, and then the other guys came in to pick it up. Looks like Aiden Cavini in there as well. So a loss of a yard brings up second down 11 for the Eagles, and they'll go with an empty backfield. Four wide receivers split out to the left side. Garlock, quick pass out to the left, and it's complete. That's number 10, Seth Elkert, and Elkert goes for a few yards. That looked like I was going to go for a bigger gain, and he caught that right on the run. But Arlington, great job of pursuing that and getting down the line to, to stop him from just a short gain. He picks up about six, so this third down is five yards to go. Empty backfield once again, but they flip the formation. And it looks like they might have gotten Arlington to jump offside. And so a free five yards. And that should give Liberty Benton a first down. And it would be a Citizens National Bank first down. And it is indeed, so a free first down for the Eagles. Something you don't want to give the Eagles is anything free. I mean, you, you want them to work for everything they get tonight, and that was a tough break there for Arlington. Snap a little bit high, oh. and the handoff goes to Caden Foltz, who's brought down right away. Foltz with 16 carries this year for 47 yards. That's good for 2.9 a carry, but that one gets nothing. Back to the line of scrimmage, second and 10. Big tackle there by Mason Kevin, you know, junior, 230 pounds, and he was rode him right down to the ground. Back in the gun. 
Garlock puts a man in motion, pitches it out to the right. That's Foltz in. Foltz brought down again this time Luke for Metzger. a loss of a wow. yard. This is interesting. You know, they're coming out here running the ball and, you know, trying to establish some kind of run instead of going out there and throwing it like they did. They have all for the first two games. Arlington's up to the task right now. Now, if you're trying to soften up that backfield for, for Arlington or what right at the moment. Third down 11 trips out to the right side for Garlock. Two wide receivers split out to his left. He's looking that way. Pulls it back down. Still some time. Can't find anyone open. And he's brought down for the sack. And a flag comes in at the end of the play. Flag down at the 46-yard line. A big play for the Arlington defense. And that was Lucas Pinsermaker over there on that tackle. Good job by the secondary for Arlington, though. They shut that down. The penalties against Liberty Benton, so it's declined. So it's a loss of five yards, a fourth and very long coming up, and the punt unit out onto the field. Got Jake Vermillion, Vermillion deep, and as along with Caden Russell for Arlington. Cason Doolittle will do the punting. Good snap. Doolittle's going to fake it. He keeps the ball on the ground. He's got 15 yards to pick up. He doesn't get nearly no. enough as he crosses the 50, but he's brought down nine yards short of the first down, and Arlington will take over. Well, I guess you gamble right off the bat. That's a big gamble there for Liberty Benton. Now Arlington's going to get it at mid, just inside midfield. And, you know, this is a team, like I said, this Arlington team, they, you know, they've run for 424 yards, so they have, a, they have ability to keep it for a long time on a drive. So, you know, that's what they need to do. They need to keep Liberty Benton's offense off the field. They need to drive down the field and finish off with some points at the end. Jared Griggs, the leading runner for this Arlington team, but they start with a pass and it's complete. That's Jake Vermillion as Vermillion nears a first down. We'll see how close he got. Maybe about a yard short. Matter of fact, looks like they might put him down two or three yards short. Either way, a nice play for Arlington, a team that hasn't passed the ball much. Only 19 times so far this year. Make it 20 after that pass, and it goes for six yards. Look like a little bit of flip the script here tonight. That's yeah. right. Liberty Benton comes out running. Arlington comes out passing. Correction, about seven yards. Second down, three. And they'll run this one to the up back, and he's brought down at the line of scrimmage. And Liberty Benton thinks the ball came out. And waiting for a referee signal, and it and is it indeed is. Eagles football. So Arlington with two plays on offense, they cough it up, and Liberty Benton gets it back basically where they gave it up. I sure came up with that football for Liberty Benton, whether it was Zach Elkert or it might have been him that came up with it. Boy, tough break for the Red Devils. I, now you just put this offense back on the field. I got a feeling that Liberty Benton's going to change it up a little bit and start throwing downfield a little bit. Garlock with an empty backfield to start this drive. Four wide receivers out to the right. Arlington three down lineman. Garlock, quick pass, right side. It's caught. That's Seth Elkert, and Elkert brought down after a gain of two. Snyder New Love all over that one. Tell you what, those passes look like they're going to develop into something, that, you know, for, for some deep yardage. But Arlington is really getting over there and, and pursuing well. Flying to the footballs are the Red Devil. Early on in this one, two-yard pickup, second down, eight. Garlock going to throw this one. Another quick one out to the left side. This one's caught by Seth Elkert. He's brought down immediately, but a decent pickup brings up third and manageable about four yards to go. Yeah, a tackle made by Jared Griggs on that one there. He's, come, he's hitting a lot of high percentage passes right at the moment. They haven't gotten a whole lot of yards. That one got more yards than they have on, on all the other ones previous. But Clock. At 8.15, 13 on the play clock, and we've got a penalty as the Eagles offensive line moves early. So back them up five yards, we'll have a third and nine in, instead. 
Hey, you look at that offensive line for Liberty Bend. I mean, they're big boys out there, 210, 275, 255, 250 across that front. And throw in a 175 as well in there. Alone in the backfield now, Garlock. Garlock looks to pass another short one. This time they're trying to set oh. up the screen and down goes the carrier. That's Lincoln Garlock with the reception. But how about Fenstermaker getting in there and tripping <laughs> I'll him up? I'll tell you what, he's played a game of his life already. You know, Fenstermaker came in with 11 total tackles in the first two games. He had two solos, nine assists, and three tackles for losses. And so far, he's got at least uh, four tackles, three or four tackles already. Short pickup brings up fourth and eight. Punt team back out there. We'll see if they actually kick this one away. And now they will. As it takes a hop and a nice Liberty Benton bounce back to about the 16 or is that the 11-yard line? Tough to tell from my angle. Either it looks way. about the 16, I think. 16 indeed. So back out comes the Arlington offense. Only two plays so far. Complete pass and a fumble on a run right up the middle. That was a smart move by the deep guys for Arlington, though, not to field that ball the way it was bouncing, you know, because Liberty Benton was getting down there really quick. Quarterback Jared Griggs back under center, two runners behind him. Griggs hands this one off left side. Good pickup on first down. for the carrier. That's number nine, Caden Russell. Russell, second leading rusher on this team, averaging 74 and a half yards per game. He has three touchdowns to go along with the yards. And he's running behind a big Arlington line. We talked about Liberty Benz, but you look at Arlington's coming at 202, 244, 256, 180, and 230 across the front. It's a pickup of seven on first down. Second down, three. Griggs. And this one to the up back and going down is Fenstermaker. Fenstermaker picks up at least a yard there. So a third and very short coming up for Arlington. A good third down position to be in. I mean, you know, you've got three yard or one yard to get for the first down. And it's, with a running team like you've got, a big offensive line, you figure one yard shouldn't be a big deal. But you can look across at who you're facing on the other side. And big number 75 anchoring that uh, Defensive line, Devin Montabine. So it's third down one. And it looks like they picked up enough, just enough for the first down as they handed that one off to Caden Russell. Russell kind of sneaked right through there, didn't he? He did indeed. And that's a Citizens National Bank first down. See how we are building businesses on relationship, one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com This is the kind of drive that Arlington's, you know, in their first two games they used just to wear time off the clock and just keep moving the chains. Now Griggs running out to his right side. He's hit pretty hard, but a nice pickup. Looked like he wanted to go to his left there and a yeah. little miscommunication in the backfield, but it ends up going for a nice gain on first. Arlington came into this game with two wins, beating Ada 38 to 20 and Pauling 21 to 12. Always nice when Liberty Benton and Arlington face off undefeated, two really good teams, great rivalry. Now Liberty Benton's got a long winning streak against Arlington and they, Arlington would certainly like to break that tonight. They hand this one off, it's Fenster Maker. Sorry, that's Caden Russell who rumbles his way to another CNB first down near the 50-yard line. In fact, they put it right on midfield. Big hole for him to blow right through there. And once he got past the linebacker, he got two or three extra yards on it. Arlington keeping this drive going and, as you would imagine, from a running team, keeping the clock in their favor. And that clock has really been moving. I mean, this first quarter is really slipping by. Griggs hands this off to the up back once again and pickup of about five yards on first down. This time it's Fenstermaker. 
know, the Red Devil uh, coaching staff says, we're going to keep running that play until you stop it, you know. Why not? And it's, you know, and we're going to switch up backs, you know, and you keep some fresh legs pounding forward all the time. Let's see Arlington taking their time, bringing the play in, lining up and heating up the clock. This time, Griggs keeps the ball. Griggs puts a shoulder down and picks up another wow. Citizens National Bank first down. That was two freight trains running into each other They're right there. Both of them got up just fine. Well, Mason Mudd right in there, to, or Mod right in there to put a lick on the Jared Griggs. But again, another nice run for Arlington. Ball up to the Eagles, 37-yard line. They'll split a receiver out wide right. That's Jake Vermillion. Griggs under center. He's going to keep this one. Just goes right up the middle and keeps his feet as he puts that hand down to get a few extra yards and a nice pickup. And I'm not sure if that was the design play because he kind of fumbled the snap a little bit and then he decided to check it in and run right up the middle with it or whether he was going to hand off or not. But again, a nice game by the quarterback. All up to the 30-yard line as we hit the three-minute mark on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. I mean, we're already down under three minutes here in the first quarter. And they'll hand this one off to the left side. Caden Russell and Russell up to the 25-yard line. Needed the 27 for a first down. And again, Citizens National Bank first down. Well, that's, that's the name of the game for Arlington this season so far. You know, just long drives, move the chains, keep moving the chains, keep the other team off the field, the offense off the field, you know, get down there. Like I said, we're under, you know, almost two and a half minutes left here in the first quarter. Arlington's had most of the possession. And that's the thing that the, the Coach McGrain wanted to do was to win the time of possession, and so far he's doing that. Griggs, this one. To the right side, oh. that's Fenster Maker. Ball comes out, and once again, a turnover. A great drive for the Red Devils. Ends in heartbreak as the Eagles fall on top, and the Eagles offense back onto the field. Wow, great job by Liberty Benton just to knock that ball out of there. You saw somebody's hand come in there and just knock it out of his hands, and then Brandon Wade just, just dove right down on top of it for Liberty Benton. Tough break for Arlington. They had a nice drive going, and they ended up on another turnover. And it looked like that exchange from the quarterback to running back was a little bit low, and perhaps the runner did not have a chance to properly secure the football. Well, that's six fumbles now in, in the first three games for Arlington, and they've lost all six of them. Mm. So the Eagles back to work with Garlock in the backfield with Caden Fultz to his left. Lincoln Garlock goes in motion, but the hand of Fultz. Fultz with some room up the right side, and. Newlove comes up for the tackle. He almost ripped that away, but Fultz hangs on, and it's a pickup of eight on first down. Nice pickup of eight yards there for Liberty Benton. I'll take that any time on first down. Gives you a lot of options on second down now. We're on a counter play. Back to Fultz, and this time he's hitting the backfield. He falls forward for maybe a yard, but a good job there by Arlington's Wyatt Berry getting in the backfield. Yeah, Berry, a, a junior, 202 yards. 13 tackles coming in this game. Four solos, nine assists, and three tackles for losses mixed in there. Third down and about half a yard to go. Garlock in the shotgun. You'll see that most of the night. Garlock hands this one off. Fultz met in the oh, backfield. Out. Brought down. And how about that? <laughs> Mason Cavini in the backfield first. I'll tell you what, Cavini is a, is a force to be reckoned with back here. Big kid at 230 pounds, he's only a junior. And so the punt team onto the field. Which we've already seen really doesn't mean a whole lot for Liberty Benton. They, That's right. They faked the first punt, didn't get the first down, then they, they punted the second time. Kaysen Doolittle, a rugby-style punter, runs out to his right every time he catches the ball. 
see it here as he kicks this one end over end. It bounces at the 41, and this time it'll be returned by Jake Vermillion. Vermillion looking to get the edge. Vermillion has a block. Flag comes in. That block will be called a block in the back, as we can kind of see that from all the way over here. Yeah. So with 24 seconds on the clock, we'll step aside as the Arlington offense comes out onto the field. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Today's first down sponsor is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Welcome you back to Arlington High School where Arlington takes over after a punt. It was an illegal block, so they were dropped back 15 yards from the spot of the foul, and they start this drive with a run to Lucas Fenstermaker, who has a nice pickup. So the clock is at 12, and I imagine the way Arlington plays that they will head to the sideline, and they will. So, an eventful first quarter ends with the score still tied at 0-0 on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. We'll have the second quarter for you after this on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Findlay Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Welcome back to Arlington High School for the start of the second quarter. Still 0-0 on that Findlay Truck and RV scoreboard. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergall with you. And Dar, we mentioned it right before the break. It was an eventful first quarter, but still no score. Yeah, it certainly was. A lot of action there in that first quarter. You know, the two big costly turnovers by Arlington just shut down their, their drives. Arlington keeps this one on the ground. Griggs with the keeper. Griggs with the Citizens National Bank first down as he crosses the 40-yard line up to the 42, maybe the 43. Either way, a nice start to this second quarter. Now we talked about Griggs not throwing a whole lot. He, came, he was 9 for 20, nine for 19 coming into this game for 115 yards, but he also had 29 carries so far this season for 177 yards and three touchdowns on the ground. So he's a guy you got to watch out for. He can throw the ball when he has to throw the ball but he likes to run the ball a lot too. So, you know, he's a tough quarterback to, to keep an eye on. Russell and Fenstermaker back in the backfield, lined up on either side of Jared Griggs, and they'll hand this one to the left. Uh, actually, Griggs keeps that Ooh. one. Fooled a couple people, including myself, Ooh. as he goes for nine yards, and a big hit at the end of that play. Boy, it certainly was. He just rammed right into the secondary. And really, you could hear that collision all the way up here in the press box. Second was down Mason short. They ran into. Second down short. And it was Mason Ma, the safety. That's running 170 yards, running into <laughs> 167 into 170. And this time it's to the left side. That's Russell, and Russell picks up the first down up to the 40-yard line. Boy, some big holes being opened up by that Arlington offensive line. I'll tell you what. And the thing with uh, Russell and Fensmaker, both are, you know, particularly Fensmaker, he's small in stature, so he kind of gets lost back here behind those big offensive linemen, and the defense has to figure out where he's at. And Russell's not much bigger than he is. Play clock down to eight. Griggs with the snap, hands this one off, and another one that looked a little bit iffy on the, the transfer, but Arlington able to hold on. That was Caden Russell. I'll tell you what, Ethan Bauer was almost grabbed that ball himself, you know, for, for Liberty Benton. He was in there so quickly on that one there. Like you said, it looked like a little iffy on the handoff to the running back, and, and Bauer is right there to, you know, to reach right in there and try to take it away. It's a pickup of a yard, second down nine. And this time, Griggs out to the right side, looking for the edge, cuts back in, keeps his feet as he crosses the 30-yard line, and another Citizens National Bank first down. I'll tell you what, Evan, that's using your blockers. I mean, he ran right into his blocker and pushed him right into the other guy, and then he cut to his left and got around him. 
all the way up to the 27 yard line. And again, another impressive drive by Arlington. Now all they have to do is hang on to the football and complete this drive. Like I said, they fumbled six times so far this season and lost all six of them. When you run the ball as much as they do, it's not surprising. And we've got an Arlington timeout with 9.14 to go, second quarter. Score till, still tied at zero. We'll be right back on WOSN. Tonight's first downs are presented by Citizens National Bank. See how we are building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. So first down right here for Arlington as they're moving the ball well. They've had the ball for this entire second quarter. In fact, if we looked at time of possession, I would assume they're at about 90% possession in this game as they run the ball out to the right side. Pick up a couple on first down with Caden Russell. Yeah, nice stop there by Miles Bailey for, for Liberty Benton, holding his position on that outside. And again, we talked about the fumbles, and you were saying that, you know, when you run the ball as much as they do, and, and they run the ball up the middle a lot, too. So you're going to take some hard hits up in that middle section. That they're, so, yeah, you can see the ball, you know, because guys are trying to knock the ball loose all the time. But this is one they really got to hang on to, and they really got to push this one into the end zone. Second down, eight. Griggs takes the snap, goes up the middle, picks up a couple more. And really, those quarterback sneaks, they look like they've only gone for one or two yards, but each time they've gone for about four. Yeah, it's really deceiving. I mean, they may, you know, once the guys start hitting each other in there, you think, well, that's it, it plays over with, but they keep moving their feet under there in that pile and just keep moving a little bit more. It's a third down and five for Arlington. Griggs has Russell and Fenstermaker once again. He's looking to pass. That one's tipped and hits the turf. So a fourth and five coming up as the clock stops for, <laughs> seems like the first time in about 10 minutes of game time. <laughs> really? I think it was Zach Elkert who put, the, put his big paw up there, number 20 for uh, Liberty Benton. He's only a freshman, six foot three, 195 pounds. So good size. Six foot three, and you throw that arm up there, that's yeah, kind of hard to throw over. Well, we've seen a lot of impressive freshmen so far this season, though. I'll tell you what. Now Griggs in the shotgun. First time we've seen that tonight as Fenstermaker's lined up behind him. Griggs look looking out, to pass. Look he's out, got a man coming, and he's brought down Miles Bailey with the sack and the turnover on downs. A nightmare for Arlington, who were moving the ball so well. Yeah, and nobody, now they give it right back. Nobody out there even stopped Miles Bailey. He had an open field coming around that corner. Now nobody to slow him down at all, and he just tracked down Jared Griggs and pulled him down. So now Liberty Benton will take over from the 30-yard line. Still no score in this game. Two offenses who have had plenty of success this season. Defenses trading blows. Garlock back out in shotgun. Two wide receivers split either direction. It's Caden Fultz back in the backfield with him. Garlock, quick pass. That one's complete. That's Case and Doolittle, and Doolittle gets close to the marker. He gets about nine yards, so it'll be a third and or second and one, excuse me. Yeah, that's a nice out pass to Doolittle out there. You know, first time they really use that pass tonight, but use a lot of quick ones over the middle into the backfield and stuff, but that was a little bit farther out. Another thing, too, Gar likes a left-hander. That makes it a little bit difficult for the guys coming in on him because they're used to right-handers, and he's a lefty. Garlock puts a man in motion. That's Lincoln Garlock. Now looking to pass, wants to go deep downfield, and that one over the head of the target. That was Doolittle. Good coverage downfield by Newlove. And a third and one coming up. Yeah, great job by New Love. He's step for step going down that sideline. It's a big target out there, too, for uh, Cam Garlock to throw to. So third down one. Garlock. 
Two men split out to the left, one to the right. Takes the snap, he'll hand this one off, and it'll be enough for the Citizens National Bank first down. This time it's Mason Mott on the carry. He has 11 carries for 57 yards coming into this game. That's good for 5.2 yards per carry. He's also punched it into the end zone two times. I got a feeling though Liberty Van is going to start opening up their offense a little bit more. They're kind of conservative coming out in this game. You know, throwing short passes, running the ball a little bit more. You know, but they've, they haven't had a whole lot of su success so far in this game. It's still 0-0, zero, zero, so I think they have a feeling they're going to open up their playbook a little bit. Garlock has two wide receivers split out left this time. Looking to pass, looking left, looking over the middle. Has a man, it's caught. That's Lincoln Garlock, the leading receiver on this squad. Lincoln, 15 catches, 234 yards, and two touchdowns coming into tonight. And that one goes for plenty as we have another Citizens National Bank first down. I want to thank the coaching staff for making me look smarter than I am. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to do. It Garlock is. pulls this one down. He's got some space on the right side. So he gets up the field, but a flag comes in, almost lands right on top of one of the offensive linemen. That was Javen Carpenter who took a flag to the leg. And we have holding against the Eagles, Ooh. so that's a big penalty. It was a nice gain on first down, but it'll come back. Now yeah, both teams are playing giveaway right at the moment. I mean, Arlington giving the ball, giving the ball away a couple times, and Larry Ben just shooting that drive in the foot with a, with a pen, big penalty. Still looking at a first and 10. Well, he dropped them back yep, 10, first so and first and now. 20. It does get confusing when there's that many yards to yeah, go. I'll give is. you that. First and 20, 609 left to go here in the first half. Garlock has four wide receivers out left. One alone up to the right. That's Doolittle. Garlock, quick pass, left side. Maud with the catch, has some blockers as he jumps over his own man as Braden Wages was on the ground and a decent pickup there on first down. They get about half of the penalty yards back. Again, Arlington pursuing well down that line to get on him, you know, but they caught a break right there when he tripped over his own guy. Second down, 15. Garlock to pass, quickly out to the left. Caught by the other Garlock as Lincoln goes for a nice pickup in this third down. Very manageable. And a flag down again. And Coach Josh McGrain on the sideline thinking it's an illegal man downfield. And it is against the Eagles. And I think what they called was a sideline warning. At least that was the signal, but they are moving the ball back. So not incredibly sure what we're doing here, but either way, it's a penalty against Liberty Benton. Ball back to the 38 yard line. So they'll replay second down, second and 20. We're back where we started. That's right. Garlock gets the play in. He's got 11 seconds on the play clock. I can see him going deep down the middle on this one here. He is looking to pass. He's going to throw out right for Doolittle. Doolittle goes up, can't make the catch, but a flag oh. comes in. And Dar, you had the same reaction as the Arlington Ooh. fans. And they will call pass interference against New Love. I think I'm with the Arlington fans here. That looked like pretty good coverage. Yeah, I think so too. But you know, it's tough when you're guarding, you know, for New Love when he's guarding a guy like Doolittle, who's six foot two out there, he can really get up off his feet. But I think he had positioning on the inside there on the It'll be a 15 yard penalty, but it will be an automatic first down. Arlington coaches all fired up, crowding around the referee. 
Well, I think part of the problem, too, is the guy that threw the flag was clear over here on this sideline. On the one sideline, the play was clear on the other sideline. Either way, so second down five, excuse me, not an automatic first down, but that one's complete out to Brandon Wages, and Wages might have enough for the CNB first down. And he does indeed. So the Eagles get the first down after quite a couple of events. We've had a bunch of penalties on this drive to either team. It looked like the Eagles can go to a speed up offense there. They got the line broken really quickly, but then they you know, calling the play now. So a five yard penalty, that'll be first down five. Four minutes, 38 seconds to go. Second quarter, still 0-0 on that Finley truck and RV scoreboard. Now Arlington wants to take a timeout. We'll take it as well. As I said, still 0-0 on that scoreboard. Four and a half to go, second quarter. You're watching high school football on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. 0-0 zero, zero on that Finley Truck and RV scoreboard, but Liberty Benton knocking on the door of the first score of this game, 11 yards to pay dirt. Garlock rolling out to his left, and that one's complete, and brought down is Elkert, that's Seth Elkert. Ball came out, but after he hit the ground, but we have another flag on the ground. It's been a sloppy, sloppy second quarter. Is that flag down at the nine? It's certainly been a sloppy drive from the time of possession here for Liberty Benton. And it's an illegal man downfield against the Eagles. There we go, a few yards forward. We're gonna go a few yards back. Not sure if we're playing tug of war or we're playing football, but. Five yard penalty, first down 10. Four minutes, 18 seconds and counting in this first half. Garlock runs the play in. Two wide receivers split out left. Two out to the right. It's Mason Mod in the backfield. Cam Garlock throws. This is Doolittle. It's caught, and New Love with a oh. quick hit as he brings down Doolittle. Short gain on the play for the Eagles. Big time hit there by New Love, and you see Doolittle get up, kind of limping a little bit. I think we're going to see a battle all night long between those two young men. So a gain of two brings up second and eight. Garlock rolling left this time. Garlock to throw, and that one's caught. And maybe it wasn't. It's out of my view, as it looks like it was incomplete, intended for Braden Wages. So a third down and eight coming up. Good defensive play out there by the Arlington, though. You got uh, Jared Griggs out there, along with Luke Metz Metzger that I saw out there. Clock stops at 322 for this third down eight. Garlock empty backfield this time. Garlock looking left, throws this one into the end zone, incomplete over the head of Lincoln Garlock. And now a fourth down eight. Whoa. Decision time. It looks like the field goal unit will come out looking for the first points of this ball game. Doolittle does the kicking for the Eagles. And he's seven for seven on point afters, and he's two for two on field goals. Puts this one down at the 21 yard line. So a 31 yard field goal coming up. Garlock will do the holding. Good snap, kick is up. And that looked wide left. Still no score in this wow. game. What a first half we've had so far. Arlington will take over with 3.14 to go in the half and one timeout. That was a tough play. 
right there. I mean, first miss for uh, Doolittle. He was two for two coming into this game. But, you know, I'll tell you what, the play just before that on that pass play is I think uh, Garlock cut just a hair sooner than what uh, Cam Garlock thought he was, he was going to, and he threw it right behind him. So, but a good defensive play out there, too, and good coverage by Jake Vermillion on that. But this is a, an interesting game all the way around. Both teams had opportunities, and they just have not been able to finish off. So Griggs will start under center. Same formation we've seen most of the night. He'll hand this one to the up back and brought down immediately is number 11. That's Lucas Fenstermaker. And the big thing right now for the Red Devils is hang on to that football. Don't give our, our Liberty Benton back the football inside your territory at this stage. It's a pickup of one, second down nine, clock under three minutes. Now, remember, Liberty Benton won the toss. They elected to receive. So Arlington will get the football to start the second half. Griggs back under center. Griggs keeps this one, and he breaks a tackle in the backfield, but the rest of the Eagles' defense back there to bring him down. And I think Liberty Benton's going to take their first time out of the half, and they will indeed with 2.24 to go. When we come back, it'll be a third down 12 for Arlington on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. That scoreboard still reads zero to zero as we have a third and long coming up for Arlington. Liberty Benton took their first time out of the half, hoping to get the ball back with good field position as Griggs goes under center for Arlington. And they'll hand this one off and they'll go down right at the line of scrimmage once again. And Liberty Benton is going to take their second timeout. So 2.15 to go. And we want to remind you, season 18 of Sports Report started Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around. All season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. So, Dar, we've talked about this first half and how both teams have played well, but they've really gotten themselves in trouble, either penalties or turnovers, or we saw the missed field goal not long ago. If you would have asked me before the game if it'd be 0-0 at halftime, now still time left, I understand that. But if you would have asked me 0-0 at halftime, no way. No, no, absolutely not. Not when you're looking at two offenses that are high powered and different. I mean, like we said, they're, they're total opposites as far as how they run their offense. But tonight they look kind of similar. You know, and Liberty Benton's run the ball a lot more than I thought they would. They're starting to open up their playbook a little bit and throw the ball a little bit more. but. Yeah, I never would have thought it had been 0-0 at this point. But, again, defenses are playing tough. I mean, they're playing really well. You know, Arlington came in this game, you know, giving up 16 points a game. Liberty Benton, on the other hand, you know, came in giving up tw almost 20 points a game. So, Mason Cavini punts this one away. It'll be returned by Mason Maud. And so Liberty Benton will start. From Arlington Territory, one timeout to go, 208, a team that likes to pass the football, has been pretty successful this season passing the football, but this Arlington secondary has done a nice job. And they certainly have it. And Liberty Benton likes to throw the football on the sidelines, so mm. they can easily stop this clock a lot on this two minutes to go. You know, they can, this could be a long two minutes for Arlington. You know, so you got to get out there on the sidelines. you got to keep those guys in bounds so they don't stop the clock because, like I said, Liberty Benton only has one timeout left. Now I can see LB coming out here on this first down play and just going for it, going for it right now and just throwing it deep down the middle or deep down the sideline, hoping one of their guys can get in. They have three wide receivers split out to the right. One goes in motion. That's Caden Foltz. Garlock throws it as they set up a screen and a big hit right there. Coming in for that one was Luke Metzger. Nice catch by Mason Mod as. He pays the price for those five yards. Still a decent pickup. You've heard a lot of big hits in this game. I mean, you can hear them all the way up here, man. Garlock again to pass. Has a lot of time. Throws this one over the middle as Doolittle comes in for the catch. Nice job dropping down. Looked like that one was close to hitting the ground, but 
Referees call it a catch, and it's another Citizens National Bank first down. Liberty Benton moving. And the key is, is if they can get inside to where they, you know, if they run out of time, they can still give uh, Doolittle a second chance at kicking another field goal or trying for another field goal. That one through the hands of Doolittle. I don't think they mind the clock stopping, though, at 128. Yeah, just a second and 10 right now. Like I said, if they can even get inside where he can come out and attempt a second field goal, you know, I think he wants a little bit of a retribution there. They run with two wide receivers on the left side, two out to the right. Foltz in the backfield. Slot wide receivers tuck in. Four seconds on the play clock. Garlock looking to throw, still looking. So much time to throw, still looking. Now he throws, end zone on the run and out of reach of his intended target, Doolittle, and 118 on the clock and a third and 10. Right now, you know, you're seeing good patterns run by LB, but you're also seeing great defensive play by the Arlington secondary because Cam Garlock's had to run around the backfield looking for receivers, and then last second he's just got to try to throw it down there. But you know, good job there, again, by Snyder and Nula back here. He was chasing down the, uh, the wide receiver down there and just staying with him one-on-one. -on -one. Third down, 10. Garlock, empty backfield this time. Three to the right, two to the left. Garlock steps up in the pocket, still looks to pass, now throws, and that one's knocked up in the air and caught for a touchdown. How about that? Great coverage. Arlington gets a hand on the ball, but ultimately falls for a touchdown. And our first score of the game on that Finley truck and RV scoreboard. Lincoln Garlock that came down with that ball. 108 to go in the half. My goodness. Great concentration by Lincoln Garlock just to find that ball. Too little on for the PAT. That's up and it is good. 7 0 your score. 108 to go first half. We step aside. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. First Downs are presented by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Welcome back to Arlington High School. It's 7-0. Liberty Benton on top after a Garlock to Garlock connection. Lincoln Garlock with his third touchdown catch of the year. And not an easy catch either. I mean, but but I'll tell you what, now, now Arlington has to respond. You know, they've got a minute to go on this one here, but they'll get the ball back to start the second half, too. And this one kicked back, and it's touched at the goal line. And Arlington picks it up, and how about that? Caden and Russell just puts a shoulder down and creates a big collision at about the 15-yard line. Looks like he's a little shaken up after that one. You got a minute four to go, Evan. You know, do you just run out the clock now at this stage and go into the go into the locker room, come back out and take the ball to start the second half, or try to make something happen here? And now I can see him, you know, trying to run the ball down. There's no doubt about it. But you know, which way do you go? Do you you know get put in the hands of Griggs and let Griggs get as much yardage as he can? Both teams with one timeout remaining. Griggs under center. Griggs. Hands this one off up the middle, and a nice run for Fenstermaker. This makes things interesting as the clock stops on the Citizens National Bank first down. Well, he's a, he's a shifty little runner, I'll tell you what. He gets underneath those big offensive lines, and the defense is looking all over for him, trying to find him, and he scoots right through there. Yeah, hustle back to the line of scrimmage. Griggs looking to pass this time. They pass to the left, trying to set up a screen. And tripped up and brought down is Cade Regal. Regal picks up two yards. But the clock continues to run. He wasn't able to get out of bounds over there. Arlington seems like they're content. They won't take a timeout anyway. Don't need to run a play. 
Looks like they will as Griggs goes under center. They hand this to the up back. Time, it's Caden Russell. And now the clock at 10, and we do have a timeout by Arlington with 10 seconds. So time for another play or two, depending on the result of the first one. That's interesting that he calls a timeout with 10 seconds left. You know, you don't have a whole lot of time. I don't. Hmm. Can run some kind of trick play yeah. on the Statue <laughs> of Liberty. Hmm. Makes you wonder what he's going to come out with out of this timeout. I mean, his first, you know, three plays of this in this particular drive, he's been pretty conservative as far as going up the middle. Fence Mater got a big yardage game, but it was really just off of an off tackle run. And even the pass was just a little short pass to the sideline. It's third down and three. Arlington hasn't necessarily passed the ball effectively today. And I can't, I can't see Arlington going deep on this one here, you know, and taking the chance that Liberty Benton gets an interception and a return of any kind. See what kind of play they come up with. Play clock at 20. Shotgun. Second time we've seen Griggs in the gun. He's got Fenster Maker lined up behind him. Griggs takes the snap, just pulls it down. He'll run this one. Griggs tripped up, gets a first down. Clock stops at six. They want to spike it as Coach McGrain sends in his directions. Quickly back to the line go the Red Devils, and they snap it. They throw it down. They've got a second on the clock. Oh. Good job by the timer here, getting the clock stopped on time. So one second to go. They've moved the ball pretty well. we'll see if they have enough time to do anything uh, with it. And I, I think they'll keep it in the hands of Griggs again. I mean, you know, let your quarterback do what he can do. Don't take a chance of, uh, you know, a miscommunications between your running backs or a poor handoff or something like that where Liberty Benton has an opportunity to pounce on it or even pick it up. That's the scary part of it. One more play of the half. Griggs pulls this one down, looking to run. Flag comes out, and the ball actually hit the turf, and it's recovered by Liberty Benton. It was Zach Elkert who grabbed it. And it's going to be a hold against Arlington. The penalty's declined, so the fumble counts. You'll count that against your stats, but it doesn't do any harm as the clock hits zero. Seven nothing, Liberty Benton at halftime from Arlington. We step aside, second half coming up after this on WOSN. Welcome back to Arlington High School for the start of the second half. It's seven to zero, Liberty Benton. On top of the host, Arlington Red Devils on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard. Evan Skilleter and Dar never go with you. And Dar, 7-0 Eagles. It took a long time before anyone got points on the board. And now the Red Devils will try to tie things up. Yeah, it was a tough first half. You know, a lot of, a lot of action in the first half. We talked about that. But neither team really be able to finish off any of their drives. Either uh, with Arlington's case, it was fumbles with... Liberty Benton's case, a couple time, untimely penalties as well. But they finally were able to score with just over a minute left to go there in that first half. So let's see how Arlington can come out and respond now. You know, they, they had some nice drives in that first half. I'll tell you what, they were able to run the ball effectively against LB, you know, but they just couldn't get over the hump. They either coughed the ball up, you know, which they fumbled so far that, you know, uh, seven times this season, they've lost all of those. So they've got to hang on to the football and finish off this drive. Now Griggs will pitch the ball out to the left side on the option play. Fenstermaker keeps his feet and falls forward for a few yards. Now the ball came out and referee said he was down first. Fumbles plaguing Arlington this season. They're still 2-0, but a couple turnovers in the first half as well. Fortunate to keep that one. Well, there's some hard hits out there too, and you got to be careful with this LB team because they're 
they're ball hawking all the time and they're trying to knock that ball loose from you. You know, they're laying some big hits on these running backs. And Vince Maker's not a real big kid. He's a gutsy little runner and, you know, you know, strong little runner. But, you know, Liberty Benton's really going after the football. Now they pitch it outside to Caden Russell. And Russell has a nice pickup, and that's enough for a Citizens National Bank. First down, good start to the drive for Arlington. And, Evan, we didn't see that a whole lot in the first half. We saw Griggs run the ball a lot. We saw him hand off to guys going around the, around the edge. But we really didn't see the pitch out to the guys. You know, now they're coming out here in the second half and using it, and they've used it twice now effectively. Three plays and a first down. As we mentioned, Arlington, you know, a team that's at 424 yards rushing coming into this game and likes to keep it on the ground, but there's a nice little pass. Yeah. <laughs> That was a relatively easy call right there as Anderson Roberts for Liberty Benton had the intended target, Jake Vermillion, wrapped up. It was a little delayed before those flags came out, and we're over on the Arlington side. You could tell there was a little bit of delay for the flags to come out. <laughs> That's right. Fans don't like delay. They do not like delays. Two flags came out on that from two different directions. That's so right. It, and it was an obvious pass interference. You'll still have fans saying there should have been three flags. Hey, that's right. Where was the other guy at? With the penalty, the ball goes up to the 48-yard line. First and 10, Griggs under center. He'll keep this one. Now pitch it once again. Oh, this is nice Spencer job, Maker. nice job. He's got some space. He cuts inside and drags a tackler forward as he crosses the 35-yard line and another Citizens National Bank first down. And give me all the credit in the world to Jared Griggs on that one there because he faked the handoff on the inside, got to the outside, and waited until the very last second before he pitched that ball to Fencemaker. And Fencemaker had that whole sideline to himself then. Ball up to the 32 yard line. Great start to the drive for Arlington. We really uh, haven't seen either team struggle to move the ball. It's just been turnovers and untimely penalties that have cost them. They get inside that red zone or anywhere close to it, and they just can't finish it. He's a run up the left side. Caden Russell, the ball carrier, another nice pickup. Five yards, second down five. We saw, we saw Liberty Benton in the first half, from late in that second quarter, missed 31-yard field goal, and then come back and get the touchdown pass. And that even that ball was knocked up in the air, and he was able to bring it down for the score. But... You're right, when we get anywhere close to the, to the goal line or sniffing the goal line, they just can't seem to get that last push. And another run to the right side. This time Griggs keeps it. And he might have picked up a couple. They'll give him two, third down three. Look like number 62, Trevor Oatley in on the tackle. I chase Griggs down from the around the corner. So a third and three. Unless they have a stellar field goal kicker, probably four down territory here for Arlington. Griggs back under center. Griggs keeps this one, looking for the edge. Nice cut inside, and he has enough for the first down, I believe. Let's see what the referees have to say, and indeed. It is a Citizens National Bank first down for Arlington. The drive stays alive. Ball on the 21-yard line. Big, big carry by Jared Griggs on that one to get the first down. Now you got it. Now you got to finish. Now you're in there you're knocking on the door. You got to finish this thing off. And most of all, you got to hang on to the football. And you better believe Liberty Benton's going to be going after it every play. Absolutely. As they split out one wide receiver, wide right. That's. Cade Regal. And out goes Griggs to the right. Nice pitch. Fenstermaker looking for space. Nice cut. Makes one man miss as he crosses the 20 up to the 17 ish yard line. We'll see where the official spot is. But around five yards on the pickup. Second down five coming up for Arlington. That was a tough five yards. That, that pitch was behind him, and he was able to corral it, turn around, and still get five yards off that play. Like I said, we didn't see a whole lot of that pitch out in the first half. 
Now they've been real effective all this start of the second half with it. Both runners in the backfield. Russell to the left, Fenster maker to the right. Griggs hands to Russell up the middle. He's met quickly, maybe picked up a yard. And they will give him a, a little bit of positive yardage. Brings up third down four. Okay, it was number 35. Christian Blair on the tackle. Blair just a freshman linebacker for this Eagles football team. Third and four. A lot of impressive th freshmen out there this season. Griggs looking to pass. Throws out right. Fenster oh. making the catch and the touchdown for the Devils. They're a PAT away from tying this game up. Lucas Fenstermaker with the touchdown catch, his second touchdown of the season. And out for the PAT comes Alex Durliet. That's the second touchdown pass for Griggs this season. And correction on the kicker, that's Wesley Hartman. Just looking at the wrong 33, and now the Eagles are drawn offside. And does that change the decision for the Red Devils? I think it might. And yeah, it looks like Coach McGrain sending Griggs back out onto the field. Devils gonna go for two. Ball moves up to the one. Well, you got a running team, you know, when you get on the one yard line, hey. You count on that big offensive line to get the push and give you that one yard. Griggs under center. Griggs to the left. Griggs into the end zone. Two points for the Devils. And they lead eight to seven on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard as we step aside. More football coming up after this on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And that scoreboard reads eight to seven. Four and a half minute drive for Arlington. They punch it into the end zone on a Lucas Fenstermaker touchdown grab. And the two point conversion is good. And Dar, it took us uh, almost two quarters to get our first score of this game, and now we've had two. Well, I, I tell you what, Arlington did something that they, you know, they, they drove down the field mostly with the run, and then they finished it off with a pass. That's an onside kick, and it's grabbed by, I think that's Cason Doolittle out there. No, excuse me, that's 35 Christian Blair, the freshman we just talked about on the defensive end, grabbing that ball, and Liberty Benton will start with good field position. I'll tell you what, you're putting a lot of faith in your defense now. You come out there and you try a little onside and try to, you know, Liberty Benton gets the ball in good field position. But, you know, Coach McGrain said, and they're saying, hey, guys, you know, I'm going to take this chance, and you're going to go out there, and you're going to stop these guys no matter what happens. Well, and it's only the second kickoff we've seen for Arlington, but the opening kickoff didn't go very no. far either. So uh -huh. I think maybe that, you know, if you can't kick it deep, you might as well try to get the ball back on the kickoff. But Liberty Benton starting this drive from the 42-yard line. And they'll keep this one on the ground. And a nice job by the Arlington defense. And guess who it was? Number 11, Lucas Fencemaker. Caden Fultz on the carry. Now he does fall forward for two yards to bring up second down and eight. That Arlington defensive line has gotten some good penetration tonight. We've seen Garlock with some time to throw, but for the most part, they've done a nice job just being disruptive in that defensive backfield. Good tackling too by the Arlington as well. Garlock throws it out left. That's caught. Seth Elkert. And Elkert with a nice gain up to midfield. And they're going to put him down at the Eagles 49-yard line. That brings up third down four. 
That's been a very effective play all night long for LB is just that quick out pass to one of their wide receivers. Getting about five yards, six yards a pop, you know, which is why you see your quarterbacks back here hitting 74% of his passes. Those are good percentage passes. Garlock to throw, three-man rush, has time, throws, and that one's incomplete. And I don't know if number seven, Jared Griggs, got a hand on that, but he had a nice defensive play to at least be disruptive enough to cause that incompletion. Yeah, you're right, Evan. It, even if he didn't get a hand on it, his, his hand was there. You know, and that had a little mustard on it, too. I mean, Garlock threw that in right into the bread basket of the receiver, and he just bounced right back out again, so. And out comes the punting unit for Liberty Benton. Case and Doolittle doing the kicking. Back to return is Jake Vermillion. And Caden Russell on the other side. Snap a little high. Doolittle grabs it. Kicks this one away down the right side. Takes a hop and rolls backward. So the ball down just across the 20-yard line. And back out comes the Arlington offense. And that's exactly what you, or excuse me, it's exactly how you want to start a half. Score a touchdown, get the ball back, and this is a team that can control the clock. And that was the thing, one of the keys that Coach McGrain said, you know, we want to hold, we want to command the time of possession. We want to keep the Arlington, or Liberty Benton's offense off the field. We want to keep that passing game off the field, and they've been able to do that. And that start out here in the third quarter with that long drive, finished off with a touchdown. They can do it here again, you know, if they get, you know, enough momentum going, you can have another long drive and another long possession. Same runners in the backfield, Russell on the left, Fenstermaker on the right. This one will be pitched out to Fenstermaker and a nice job by the tough Lucas Fenstermaker falling forward for extra yardage and it's a nice play on first down and he stays inbounds. They're like a little freight train going through there, isn't he? Absolutely. And he just lowers his shoulder, and he doesn't care who's in front of him. I'm gonna I'll take on anybody. Now it's going to come down to LB's defense. Can they stop this running game? Can they keep these guys from driving down the field on them? They were able to do it in the first half. There's no reason they can't do it here in the second half either. It's a seven-yard pickup on first down, second down three here for the Red Devils. Greg's back under center, same formation we've seen most of the night. Craig's rolling out left this time. He pitches out to Caden Russell, and Russell gets near the 35, and looks like they give him the 35, and it's enough for the Citizens National Bank first down. And Jared Griggs has that pitch out to, uh, you know, like an art form. I mean, he's waiting until the last minute. He knows he's got a guy keying in on him. You know, LB sending somebody right after him, you know, and he waits just to the last second to pitch it out there. And you have to be tough to be an option quarterback because you know you're taking a hit every play. And when you make that pitch, you're really not protecting yourself. No, you're not. You're Those wide hits open. hurt. First down. Griggs hands this one to Caden Russell and another nice pickup on first down. Arlington rolling right now to start the second half. Pickup of three. Second down, or excuse me, pickup of seven. Second down three coming up. A defensive line for Liberty Benton he wants to sew up a couple of holes there because you know a couple of runs up the middle are getting by them too quickly. Ball at the 42 yard line. Griggs takes the snap. He'll hand this. Nope, he keeps it. Now pitches it out to Fenster Maker. He dropped the football. Ball still loose, and it looks like the Eagles have it. That's the risk you take with That's those option plays. There's some space between you and the runner, and every now and then you'll see a fumble. That may explain some of their fumbles in the first two games. But yeah, that, that's a gamble you take. You're right, Evan. I mean, you, you're going to throw it, you're going to pitch it out there at the last second. The guy's going full speed ahead, you know, so if it's not right there where it's supposed to be. So Liberty Benton will take over from the 43-yard line of the Red Devils. Cam Garlock takes the snap, looking to pass, wants to go down the sideline. His man's open as the defender fell, and wide open for the touchdown is Seth Elkert, his second of the year. 
And that's a quick turnaround, Dar. Wow, certainly was. And tough break for the Red Devils. And great pattern there. Ran a good arm by uh, Cam Garlock. Just to, you know, find his man and just throw it out there. And the guy knew he was open. He knew he was wide open. He didn't have anybody around him and stuff. That's the toughest catch to make is when you know that nobody's on you. You know, just don't drop the ball, you know. But boy, it just turned around that quickly. And the Eagles will likely go for two here. It looks like Garlock still out on the field, trying to match Arlington's two-point conversion on their last touchdown. Garlock in the gun. Caden Foltz lined up to his left. Garlock wants to pass, throwing the fade, and that's up and incomplete. Fantastic coverage there by Aiden Cavini. And the score remains 13 to eight. Liberty Benton back on top, but the Arlington offense out on the field. When we return, you're watching high school football on WOSN. Welcome back to Arlington, where Liberty Benton has retaken the lead on a huge touchdown pass. Now they'll kick it back to Arlington. Seth Elkert with his second touchdown of the year. New Love's gonna grab this one and return it up the center of the field. Gets a nice block as he puts his shoulder down and gets up to around the 22 yard line. Arlington will head back onto the field. They fumbled the ball away on the last possession. But in this second half, Dar, they've moved the ball very effectively. Three minutes, 47 seconds left in this third quarter. Both teams with three timeouts. Ball starts on the 22-yard line. Yeah, they just they just got to hang on to the football. They've been, you know, it's been a problem for them first three games so far and you know and a lot of it comes from maybe on the pitch or whatever now that's a good pitch there and a nice hit but not before a nice carry by Caden Russell on first down he picks up six yards second down four coming up it's a very effective play when it works well you know but like you said you take that risk on that pitch you know fumbling it away they did on that last possession LB took advantage of it and scored Second and a long three, so a seven yard pickup for Russell. Griggs hands this one to the up back and a short pickup this time of maybe a yard. Russell once again. Third down two for the Devils. And again, uh, you know, two yards to them doesn't seem like a whole lot the way they run the ball. I'll tell you what, LB's starting to key in a little bit on it. They're, they're, they're pumped now. They, you know, they got that touchdown after that fumble recovery. They're thinking, hey, we can stop these guys here. Fenster maker on the right, Russell on the left. Griggs keeps this one. Nice cut up oh, field. Man. Makes two guys miss and has a Citizens National Bank first down. A great play by the quarterback, who's a little slow to get up. Up to the 40-yard line, go the Red Devils. Well, that's when you got an option quarterback like that that can make that cut. You know, this this is grass out there. Then you know that's a tough cut to make on grass, and he made it really well. And you can see him kind of stretching out his leg a little bit. You know, and you tweak that a little bit when you make that cut. But he did. He made two guys miss on him. You know, and, and fake that, you know, pitch. And LB was keying on the pitch. And it's warm out there today, 85, 86 yeah. degrees at, at the start of this game. Obviously, with the sun away, a little bit cooler as that pitch is completed. Griggs took a big hit, and Russell gets three. Already talk, down to a minute 45. Sorry, Dar. And you talked about, Evan, you know, when you're an option quarterback, you leave yourself wide open for... You know, that defensive person coming in there, you know, nobody's blocking him. He's heading right for you and just going to steamroll you. That's what happened to Griggs on that one after the pitch. He waits the last second to pitch it, 
And then he, when he lets go of it, here comes that defensive back or, or whoever's blitzing in there, you know, just laying him out. He's going to fill every bit of this tomorrow morning. Absolutely. Jake Vermillion split out to the right side. We'll hand this one to Fenstermaker. A flag comes in. Fenstermaker got about three or four yards. As a matter of fact, I think they only gave him a yard. Still waiting for the call from the referee. Flag was down at the 45 yard line. Now the referee picks it up and moves it a bit. It's holding against Arlington. Big penalty there, 10 yards Boy, from the spot of the foul. They'll redo second down, but it's gonna be second and about 17 yards. Officially second and 16. Yeah, that's a tough break for Arlington, but you know, let's we'll see if they can get that 16 yards back now. But you know, big break for LB to hold him back here. Fenster maker on the right, Russell on the left. They're gonna throw this ball and it's caught. Nice job there by Jake Vermillion hitting the deck to pull that in before it hit the ground. He picks up seven yards to bring up third and nine. Matter of fact, it might be more like third and eight. Now you got a couple options. You've just seen what a pass of Vermillion. You, he was open across there. A nice pass, too, to put it where you had to put it because there was a defensive guy right there. But you know, now you can throw that option plan, you know, pitch as well right here on this play, or you can go for that again. Two wide receivers split out to the right side as Griggs is in the shotgun this time. Griggs had to pull it down. Now he's going to try to get the first down with his feet. And he's close. Whoa. He reaches the ball out at the end. How about the effort from Mr. Griggs as he picks up he the Citizens it. National Bank. First down, Jared Griggs with a great effort. Well, he saw him earlier on, you know, he kind of tweaked his, his leg a little bit, his knee, whatever he did on that one cut. But he just made another cut right there to get that first down. And I mean to tell you, he just made that cut and blew right past a couple guys. And then at the end, you know, just total effort by him to get the first down. And that big play ends the third quarter. We'll step aside. An exciting fourth quarter coming up after this on WOSN. Tonight's first downs are presented by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Welcome back to Arlington High School, the start of the fourth quarter and a close one for you. It's a five point lead for the Liberty Benton Eagles, but Arlington with the football at midfield. They'll hand this off to the right side. It's Fenstermaker, oh, one man to beat and a great open field tackle by Mason Maud. But I'll tell you what, that was a great run by Mr. Nula. How did he get through there? <laughs> I mean to tell you, I mean. And sorry, that was Mr. Fenstermaker. <laughs> but how did he get through there? I mean, he, you, you saw right there when he hit the line of scrimmage, you know, a whole mass of people right there, and then all of a sudden he's, a, he's gone. And you're right, a great, great tackle by Mason out there, you know, to, to save that touchdown. Ball all the way up to the Liberty Benton 28-yard line. That's how you start a quarter. As Griggs goes back under center. Griggs to the left side, looking for the pitch. Doesn't really have it. Smart play is just to hold on to it. Runs out of bounds. I'm sure he didn't pick up a lot of yards there, but he made the right play by not throwing that ball out and risking another no, turnover. No, he didn't, but he made another good play on it, too, because he cut around Finstermaker on that play and let Fenstermaker act as a blocker for him in front of him then. It's a great call there as they get back to the line of scrimmage to bring up second down and 10. They'll split Vermillion out to the right side. Russell on the left, Fenstermaker on the right. Tight ends on either side of the formation. And they'll just run this one right up the middle. Griggs breaks a tackle as he runs right over a man. 
That was Miles Bailey, the freshman for LB, and he just, Griggs just hammered him and went right through. Pickup of seven yards brings up third down and two. And this is where conditioning comes into play for both teams. I mean, this has been a hard hitting game. There's been a lot of plays out there for both teams. You know, so it comes down to who's going to have the most gas when we get down to, towards the end of this final, final, you know, 10 minutes. Third and two, they hand it to the left. Russell met at the line of scrimmage, still fighting forward, but too many tacklers. And we've got a Red Devil on the ground. It's going to be a fourth down and short, but while he's at 10-2, we'll take a break. 9.54 to go. Fourth quarter, 13 to eight, Liberty Benton on top. Tonight's first downs are presented by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at Citizens National Bank. Visit cnbohio.com. Fourth down and two for the Devils. They roll out to the right side. Griggs oh. can't get the pitch. He's brought down for a loss. Seth and the Elkert. Eagles take it back. Wow, Seth, El El Seth Elkhart. He, he, he knew, you know, he had that one sniffed out the whole way. But, he, but what he did was he stood straight up so Griggs couldn't make the pitch at all and kind of shielded him off from doing that and then just wrapped him up and brought him down. Nice play by Seth, Seth Elkhart. And only a freshman, 6'3", 180 pounds. Another one of them freshmen out there. So Liberty Benton takes over with nine minutes, 31 seconds to play. They're up five. They stick with an empty backfield. Cam Garlock. Snap high, Garlock with some space on the right side to run. Nice pickup on first down, brought down by Luke Metzger. Pickup of six, second down four. And that play of Garlock may have been looking to go downfield with that one there, but the, the the hike was a little bit high, so he had to bring it down, and then he just decided to run with it instead. But I could easily see Little Benton going for the gold right here. Garlock joined in the backfield by Caden Foltz on his right. Quick pass, right side. This is Doolittle. Doolittle, nice cut. Stays in bounds, but a nice first down. Remember your first downs tonight brought to you by Citizens National Bank. Both teams still three timeouts. Ball up to the Eagle 38-yard line. This tackle's made by number 10, Seth, or uh, number 10 for uh, Arlington, Luke Metzger again. And number 21 out there as well. Garlock line up with an empty backfield, trips to the right, two wide receivers split out left. Now Foltz goes in motion, but a flag comes out. False start against Liberty Benton. Drop him back five yards, first and 15. We've seen a lot of that tonight. Get good offensive gain, and then you turn around and get a penalty and drive you back a little bit. Clock stops at 8.16. They'll run trips out to the right side again. Two wide receivers split left. We'll see if Foltz goes in motion again. Here he goes. They'll keep it with Garlock as he breaks a couple tackles and ultimately pushed out of bounds. Picks up, looks like seven yards. Good for a second and eight. These kind of drives when you, like I said, you get those little penalties and stuff. Those are the kind of things that you see coaches pacing back and forth on the sideline about. Ball on the 40-yard line. This time four wide receivers split out left for Garlock. Do a little alone on the right. Garlock wants to pass. 
Still wants to pass. Now rolling to his left and brought down. The big sack there by the big man, Ryler Essinger. What an individual effort by Essinger on that one. I mean, Garlock had all the time in the world. And then finally, here comes Essinger, and he stuck right with him, too, and just stuck one big paw out there and, and tripped him up, you know. But great individual effort by that young man. And how about the defensive backfield for oh, Arlington? Yeah, just covering everybody. He had no one to throw to back here. And he had all, the, like I said, he had all the time in the world until Essinger just finished it off then. So it's a loss that takes the Eagles back to a third and 16. Garlock throwing this one to the sideline. It'll be a jump ball and out of bounds incomplete. A good job there by Snyder Newlove recovering and getting Doolittle out of bounds. What a great job that Snyder Newlove's done tonight on Case and Doolittle, Doolittle, and he's given up some height of difference right there. He's still been able to get up there and knock, him, and knock some balls down. I got a chance to meet Snyder recently at church. Had a nice chat with him about the year and about his dad, Seth, who will be or is in the Hancock County Hall of Fame now. Nice punt, as this one's a nice spiraling kick. Vermillion makes the catch. And it's a fair catch, but how about that kick from Doolittle? Wow. And they needed that one. Well, can Arlington run off six minutes and 37 seconds and get down and get the final score? We'll they start. Can absolutely can do it. They'll start the drive from their own 25-yard line after a phenomenal punt from Case and Doolittle. Jared Griggs runs the play in. I mean, running off six minutes is no big deal for Arlington, but you gotta hang onto the ball and you've gotta finish off things. And this one off to the right side. That's Fenstermaker and he picks up Looks like they'll give him two yards. <coughs> Second down, eight. Six minutes, 20 seconds on the clock and counting. And we talked about it, how much, how much do you have left in the tank if you're in the offensive and defensive lines? You know, who's going to win that battle in this particular drive for Arlington? There's been a lot of hard hitting up front between those two. The run out to the left side, nice pitch. And a nice cut there by Caden Russell. He has enough for the Citizens National Bank first down. Good sportsmanship there as Cade Regal helps the opponent off the ground. Ball up to the 40. Both teams with three timeouts. That's a pretty off offensive set right there. That pitch out, you know, when you got a quarterback that can do that and do it well, and then you got running backs that can anticipate and make those cuts. It, it's a thing of beauty to watch. They'll hand this one off once again to Russell. Runs that to the right side, gets to the center of the field and picks up three yards. Second down, seven. Coming up on five minutes left in this game. Regal will split out to the right side. And a little miscommunication from Arlington. There was a guy that wasn't quite sure where to stand. And just to be safe, Coach McGrain takes the first his first time out of the half as we take it with him. 4.59 to go, fourth quarter. It's 13 to eight, Liberty Benton hanging on here in Arlington. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. That scoreboard reads 13 to eight, Liberty Benton on top, just under five minutes to play. 
And we've got a false start, excuse me, an offside against Liberty Benton. So five free ones for Arlington. That'll bring up second down and two. I wonder what he's doing out there. Griggs must be changing his cadence just enough, you know, to draw these guys off. See a little frustration on Liberty Benton's side too with that offside call. They split Cade Regal out to the left side. Hand this up the middle, Fenster Maker. Enough for the first down into Eagles territory, all the way up to the 45. I don't know how many yards Fenster Maker has, but they've been a hard fought yardage that he's picked up. But you know he's had several long runs right up the middle. Very impressive. He hits the hole so hard. Oh, he does, and you know he finds that hole. I mean, you know he, he knows right where the guys are going to split apart for him and leave it open for him. First down, 10, 4:20 on the clock. Griggs keeps this one, picks up a couple on first down. Looks like he got about four yards, in fact. Second down, six for Arlington. Like Zach Elkert and Brady Perkemeyer on the tackles for LB. Griggs keeps it this time, wants to pass. Throws over the top, oh. Fenster Maker not able to make the grab. Now third down six, clock at 342. Good defense by LB on that one. He had, again, they had the height advantage out there on their defensive backs, kind of shielded the ball off from Fenster Maker. Big third and six here for the Red Devils. Jake Vermillion runs the ball in. Or excuse me, runs the play in. <laughs> Ball sitting at the 41 yard line. Third down six. Riggs under center. Takes the snap, he'll keep this one. Thought about throwing it outside, now holds on to it. And he is brought down by a host of tacklers. First one there was big 35, Christian Blair. Grabbed a hold of that jersey and he was hanging on for dear life. He wasn't about to let Griggs get away from him. And he was just swinging around and saying, waiting for the rest of the guys to catch up. And with forward progress, the ball back to the original line of scrimmage. So fourth down and six coming up. Arlington takes their second timeout. Hey, Labor Day is coming up. Make sure you mark your calendar. The second annual LifeWise 5K presented by the Tom Hall family of dealerships will be on Labor Day. The race begins at the Sunnydale House where LifeWise Elida begins its second year. We have more to celebrate as the launch of Academ or academies excuse me, in Allen East and Spencerville take place in September. To sign up, Google Elida LifeWise 5K and follow the link to runsignup.com. So Arlington now will have one timeout remaining. Obviously they want a first down here. Be really tough to climb back into this game if they don't get one. Yeah, because that gives LB the opportunity to run the timeout themselves. But yeah, we're in week three already, and Arlington kids just go back to school next Tuesday. Must be nice. <laughs> Must be nice. Hopefully, everyone had a great summer. I know a lot of people in the area are back to school. A lot of school teachers back to work, my wife included. Now it's interesting to see what the call is going to be by Coach McGreen and his coaching staff. Fourth and six, and all, you know, a big, big play here for them. And Griggs will be in the shotgun this time. Fenster Maker lined up behind him. Two wide receivers out to the right side. Griggs, he's going to run this one. He's going to oh get my. the first down and more as he crosses the 30 near the 25 yard line. Jake. Arlington stays alive. Wow. Jake Elkert finally brought him down, but again, what a cut he made when he got into that secondary. And it looked like he wanted to throw over the top to the right to Fenster Maker, but just didn't have the, the vision to find him, so he pulled it down and made something out of nothing. A big play by that young man as the clock is at three minutes left. 
That's the luxury of having a quarterback that can run. This is Fenstermaker. Oh, look Fenstermaker out. Look out. makes a man miss, and he gets into the end zone. Arlington now on top. How about the quick cut from oh, Fenstermaker and the wheels to get into the end zone? I'll tell you what, I've been impressed with that young man all night long, and he has proved it over and over and over again. You know, he just low to the ground, just finds the holes, blasts through them, and showed the speed to get down there to the end zone. He's just had an outstanding game. Arlington on top by one. They'll go for two here to try to make it a three-point game. Remember, Liberty Benton still with three timeouts left. Two minutes, 47 seconds on the clock. Two big plays in a row for Arlington. A fourth down and six converted, and then the big touchdown run. Now Griggs out to the left side. He is near the goal line, and he is in. That's a huge, huge play. 16-13, Arlington on top. They'll kick it away when we return. You're watching High School Football on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. And that scoreboard reads 16 to 13, Arlington on top, looking for their first victory over Liberty Benton in quite some time, Dar, near 20 years, is what I'm told. Yeah, and they really need a good kickoff here. They gotta pin this team back. And this one bounces off Liberty Benton. A nice job recovering the football. And they'll start from around the 30-yard line. 70 yards to go. They have three timeouts. They have a pretty good quarterback who coming into tonight has completed around 75% of his passes. And always dangerous to, you know, to, to throw it deep down the field. You always got to worry about that. Right now, most of the time, he throws those out passes to his, to his receivers, and they've been quite effective with those. But, you know, you never know when he might drop back and just let it fly. Of course, Arlington's going to have to put somebody on him, too, to get in there and put the pressure on him at this point. Both teams 2-0 this season. Garlock alone in the backfield. Four wide receivers out to his right side. High snap. He's able to grab it. A quick pass out. It's caught by Mason Maude. Mod needs to get out of bounds. I think he stayed in. Still plenty of time, so not the worst thing in the world as he picks up nine. Yeah, those out passes like that have been real effective for LB all night long, and I expect him to keep on going with him. But like I said, you got to be careful with this Garlock kid. He'll throw it down. Second down one. Garlock steps up in the pocket. There's two flags down and an injured eagle as well. We're gonna have a hold against Liberty Benton. And yeah, he tried to walk off the field, but he goes back down. So with 2.12 to go, we have a penalty against Liberty Benton. That'll back them up 10 yards from the spot. Looks like the injured player able to get back up. That's Big number 75 there. Devin Montalbean. I think he was down at the bottom of that whole collision. On so my party just rolled over his leg. Referee makes the call. Looks like he made a couple calls, but he gets it sorted out. There we go, second and 17 now for Liberty Benton. And that was a lot of action on that play too. So it holds not surprising because your, your offensive line is trying to hold their blocks and stuff and your quarterback scrambling around trying to get extra yardage. 2.08, clock ticking. Second down, 17. Garlock alone in the backfield, clock under two. Three wide receivers split out right, two to the left. Garlock, quick pass, that one's caught. That's Seth Elkert. 
And Elkert wrapped up trying to get out of bounds. And he's not able to. Well, we'll see. One referee called for the clock to stop. And a flag. So now we'll try to get things sorted out on the sideline. Can't really see from my angle what's going on down there to the left. But looks like everyone's OK. I don't see the flag, but I'm told there's one down. Well, yeah, he threw the flag. Threw it high. I thought he threw it clear over the fence. <laughs> Referees talking it over. Still chatting. There's one minute, 40 seconds on the clock. Liberty Benton still has those three timeouts. Yeah, they're trying to save him, though. They're trying to get him out of bounds in that play. Oh, a big one. And they haven't even really made the call, but they That's are moving the ball foul. forward. So it's a personal foul against Arlington. Late hit. What? Uh, it's 15 free yards. Ball up to the... Liberty Benton 41, clock stops at 140. So it goes from a potential third and long to a first and 10. And we have to keep in mind they got Case and Doolittle on their side that can kick the field goals if they need it. They can get down to that position. Garlock rolling left, looking to throw, now gets rid of it, has a man, and that ball's dropped in and out of the hand of Braden Wages. Second down, 10, clock stops at 133. It's a good play call, though, to get him on that sideline over there. Got a left-handed quarterback rolling that way. Still empty Pressure. backfield. Pressure's going to be on the secondary for Arlington. Has been all night long, but it's really on him now. Three wide receivers out on the right side. Oh, yeah. Snap over Garlock's head. He's got a man coming and has to just dive on the football. Imagine the Eagles will take a timeout here. First time we've seen a snap go over his head, and this is not the time for that to happen. If there ever is one, it's not now. Well, I talked about it, you know, who's got the most gas left in your tank? And, you know, both these offensive and defensive lines have been hitting each other all night long. You know, pressure's on now. You know, you got to make the play. And you're going to have that, that kind of mistake. But, you know, tough, tough play for Liberty Ben. So the Eagles do take their first time out at 125. And I've got to do the math here. Let's see. We got uh, 10, 20, maybe about 24 yards. Third and 24. That's my quick math. We'll see yeah. what the board ends up saying. I yeah, not only that, someone that else ball go that. over his head, it went over his head a lot. Third and 28, my bad. And he was able to get back there and cover it up before the defensive back defensive player got back there. But And I do appreciate the presence of mind to turn around to see if he had to dive on the ball or if he could pick it up. Yeah. You see him turn around and see a defender, so he jumped on the football. You 125. All, all the Arlington backs are dropping back now because they Garlock throws this one over the middle, out of reach of his target. Intended for Braden Lemeyer. Luke Metzger all over that one for Arlington. Fourth down, 28. You got to be careful if you're Arlington defensive back, so you know you get into that kind of prevent defense back here, not to let anybody get by you, but. Well, you can't. You can, you can be on your toes. You've seen how many times that kind of prevent defense gets yourself burnt. Four seconds on the play clock. Garlock, quick pass. They're going to set up a screen. They need to get it up to the 49-yard line. It's going to be close, but I think it's going to be short. They're going to put him down at the 50, and it'll be short by two yards. Arlington holds wow. on fourth down. 
a great effort on the far side by Lincoln Garlock, who dove forward for the first down marker, but he came up just short. Good play call, too, to get him open there on that sideline, hoping that, you know, if he doesn't get, you know, down that sideline the whole way. And he almost did it. And we're trying to sort something out on the far side. That play clearly short of the line to gain. Referees still talking with that sideline. A lot of confusion, but I imagine we're going to get some jubilation on the Red Devils side here in just a moment. I'm not sure what the discussion would be. You know, I'm trying to say he he made the first down, he got far enough, and he wasn't. They clearly marked the ball down at the 50-yard line. They yeah. clearly needed to get the ball up to the 48. Sure, the Liberty Benton coaches, as they should, pleading their case and trying oh, yeah. to see if they can get a call their way. It'll be an interesting conversation after the game if, God forbid, they redo this. The down marker is moving backward. What? Oh, Ball at the 50-yard line as it stands. Really not sure what's going on on that far side. We'd love to be a fly on the proverbial wall. I mean, they could be pleading a couple things, you know. That he got the first down. He dove for the, made the first down, and, or that there was, a, you know, a later hit on him, unnecessary roughness, anything personal foul, something that get us the first down. Coach McGrain having a word with the referee on the near side. The Arlington fans mad. They don't quite know what's going to happen here. No, no, nobody does. I mean, at this stage, you know, they're still talking over there. And the frustration is starting to build over here on the Arlington side, obviously. But. The referee's still talking it over. I, I honestly are and clueless as to what the conversation could be about here. Now, if you mark the ball at the 50, it's clearly short of the first down. The ball should go over to Arlington. I don't know what the, the discussion is on the far side line between them all, but I think there may be a concern that the chains moved at some point. The referee having a chat with the holder of the chains. This is just me guessing at this point. Well, right? I think I you're right, idea. Evan. I think that that's what they're discussing. The, the fact that the chains might have moved on the play. The, they may have pulled the chains away when the you know all the action was going that direction. In case you're not familiar with how the chains work, there usually is a little marker. Referees, head referee calling timeout on the field. There's always a, a and little marker. A first down. There's always a little marker that says where the nearest five yard mark is. They are gonna measure. So this becomes super interesting. Got it wrong. And that's uh, well short. Oh you're right, Evan. They they obviously found where the marker was at. But they decided, well, we're gonna we're gonna march it out there, and we're gonna you know bring the chains out just to see for sure. So it should be Arlington football. Referees still seem like they're not too sure. One minute, ten seconds on the clock. The, the down markers are reset. It's first and ten well, now for Arlington. The good news is if you're watching this on your TV and have DVR, you can back this up yep. and see what the heck happened. See what happened. Right here, I don't have a monitor. I don't have replay, so I don't know. But 
the outcome is exactly what we expected. Arlington football at the 50 yard line. He'll keep this on the ground. Griggs runs up the middle. A smart move right there. Leave it in the hands. Don't don't try anything. Don't try, you know, handoffs or anything like that. Just let the quarterback run the ball. Timeout taken by Liberty Benton. It's their second. So one timeout for them. One timeout for Arlington. I want to thank our sponsors one more time. Finley Truck and RV sponsoring our scoreboard tonight. Citizens National Bank, our first down sponsor, of which we saw many. Many. And an interesting one right there that almost everybody thought might be another one. Well, you know, Arlington fans would really like to beat Liberty Benton. Absolutely. It's been a really long time. Absolutely. And I think there's always some concern that something might just not <laughs> go your way when it's been that long. It's a three-yard pickup for Mr. Griggs. Second down and seven, 105 on the clock. Just put an iron clasp on that, that football, Mr. Griggs, and do not let it get out of your hands. You know Liberty Benton's going to be trying to pull it, pull it away from you. Just got to keep in mind, LB still has a timeout in their pocket. Griggs under center. Drop the snap. I think everyone kind of thought that play would be blown dead. And no flag throw. Clock stops. Liberty Benton takes a timeout. So the play counts, but they said when Griggs picked up the ball, he had his knee down. So it brings up a third and eight. Now, if it's a quick play, Liberty Benton could get the ball back. They won't have any timeouts. They've taken their third. But they run a lot of sideline patterns too. Sure. So they could they could eat up a you can run a lot of plays if you can keep the ball out of bounds. It is their final timeout. Exactly one minute on the clock. And now we're into the chess match. So they're gonna put two more seconds on the clock. Make it 102. Now Arlington fans will not be happy to see 1020 on the clock. They're getting it sorted over here, doing a great job up in the press box. Great hospitality here at Arlington. We certainly appreciate it. They're waiting for him to get the clock set the way it should be. There we go. So 102, no timeouts left for Liberty Benton. A first down here does it. And Liberty Benton, you know, thinking if we can hold them here and get them to the fourth down and, and long. Griggs running out to the left side. Griggs trying to find the corner. Doesn't want to run out of bounds. He goes down at the 49. Good pursuit so, by Mason Mott on that one. Fourth down coming up. Play clock resets, and there's about 14 seconds difference between the game clock and the play clock. Now, that was good quick math, Dar. Yeah, it was. I'm, I'm that impressed. Out. Fourth down, 11. Didn't Looks even like have an abacus or anything. Over there. <laughs> I think they had those when you were in school. Yeah, I, I had calculators. So. In yeah, my I, we use our fingers and toes. Come on. <laughs> 13 on the play clock. Looks like Arlington will let the play clock run all the way down before taking their final timeout. Arlington with a three-point lead on the Finley truck and RV scoreboard. They take the timeout with 15 seconds on the clock. Assume they'll punt this football. They could do the old snap the ball and run backward as fast as you can and see if you can milk 15 seconds off the clock. <laughs> yeah. I, think I don't know, there's a little, little bit of speed on that LB side. I don't know if I'd try that or not. I don't know, this game's seen a lot of different things. That you I'm don't not even sure see. they would kick the football. They are in punt formation. Mason Cavini back to do the punting. Now you gotta be careful. You don't you don't punt it to the you know guys back here that you know can run it back for a touchdown or anything. 
a lot putting, a lot goes into the punt, so. You don't want to kick it out of bounds or anything like that because then that's just going to give OB a reset on down. Well, here we go. Good snap. It's dropped. And that's going to be a problem. So now nine seconds to go. Wow. Liberty Benton will have the ball at the 32-yard line rather than the other side of the field. And they're fired up. They think, man, we got nine seconds to work with. We're inside their, you know, their territory. I don't know what kind of leg Mr. Doolittle has. He's converted two of three field goal attempts this season. He missed on a 31 yarder, but they'll try to get one play off of probably a sideline pass, get the guy out of bounds, try to get him within field goal range. Empty backfield. Cam Garlock. Garlock takes the snap, looking for the quick out. Like you said, it's Doolittle. He makes the catch. He goes out of bounds with four on the clock. Now, from here, it'd be about a 42-yard field goal. I think they're Doolittle, gonna try it. I think Doolittle, Doolittle has the leg. You know, you saw him on this point after attempt. You know, he, he kicked it quite a ways, but. So it will be a 42 yard attempt for Kaysen Doolittle. Doolittle lines it up. That kick is up and it is. No good. No good. Arlington wins as Mr. Doolittle Almost tied this game, but the Devils hold on to move to three and oh, their first win over Liberty Benton in decades. They win 16 to 13. Dar, what a game we had. It saw a lot of strange action, but ultimately a big win for the Devils. Well, it certainly was. And I'll tell you what, you know, a miss 42 years, that was just wide left just by a little bit, you know. He missed one wide, you know, on a 31-yard attempt. He missed that one on a 42-yard attempt. But what a game all the way around. And, I mean, give credit to both these teams. I mean, they played their hearts out. You know, they, they played every down. There's hard hitting every down. You know, just a great overall game between the two. And what a, what a win for Arlington. After a long, long drought against this Liberty Benton team, they came away with a win. We want to thank our sponsors one more time, Finley Truck and RV, as well as Citizens National Bank. Thank you to the Arlington Athletic Department for the hospitality tonight. And as always, thank you, the viewer, for tuning in to High School Football on WOSN. One more time from Arlington, it's the Red Devils 16, the Liberty Benton Eagles 13. Thank you all for tuning in. Have a great night, and God bless.